Fresh off back-to-back -back victories, Kelsey Fullerton hosted a season Matadors that can remain atop the South Division. Goalie David Elias gets an early score to keep the game scoreless, who was looking to break Kelsey Fullerton's record with the most shutouts in one season. We got our first goal of the game 25 minutes in as Edgar Andrea scores his first goal of the season to give Kelsey Fullerton a 1-0 lead off the header. Tursius would waste no time tying the game even at one apiece after a nice through pass on the shot that would hit the back of the net. However, right after this, the managers got a penalty kick that would put them in great position to take the lead. Off the foul, CSUN's Trevor Murley converts on the, on the PK for his third goal of the year that would give the managers a 2-1 lead. After the game, Coach Kuntz shared his thoughts on the game and that decisive penalty play. We allowed it. Uh the player on the ball to, to run too deep into our in, into our half. And, uh, you know, there has to be a stop valve somewhere. So we didn't delay that player. He got into a dangerous position, and the referee made a call. Coming into tonight's game, the Titans had a 7-1 home record and a five-home game winning streak on the line, but fell short tonight to the hands of the season managers after two goals in the second half proved to be the difference. However, the Titans will have a chance to redeem themselves on senior night here Saturday at 7 p.m. From Titan Stadium, I'm Alan Huerta with Titan Sports Recap.